Hello, I'm Stacy Rogers, Senior Marketing Specialist for the City of Plano, filling in for Steve Stoller. And this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with a call for artists and woodworkers to create artistic items out of Plano's largest and oldest tree. The beloved quadricentennial burr oak in Bob Woodruff Park South stood 90 feet high before it fell in a thunderstorm. Arborists believe the giant oak was more than four centuries old. The fallen tree has been cut into five foot sections. Selected artists and woodworkers will be able to sell, donate, or keep the finished product. Artists have until March 24th to submit an application. For more information and online applications, go to plano.gov slash burr oak. You may notice a slight change in the taste of your water starting March 4th. The North Texas Municipal Water District will temporarily change the disinfectant in its water treatment process through April 1st. The annual routine change is necessary to maintain year-round water quality. During this period, the district suspends adding ammonia and uses chlorine only to keep the water disinfected. It helps prepare the pipes for summer when hotter temperatures can increase the potential for bacterial growth. The absence of ammonia during these few weeks may make the chlorine disinfectant more noticeable to some people. Simple steps to minimize taste, odor, or skin sensitivities include placing a pitcher of water in the fridge overnight or adding a slice of citrus. Adding a crushed 1000 milligram vitamin C tablet can also help. Looking for a fun summer job? Our friends at Parks and Recreation are holding a huge hiring event. Remember this day on your calendars, March 9th. Everyone 14 years and older is encouraged to attend one of Plano's biggest job fairs. Bring a swimsuit and towel to apply for aquatic positions. Flexible schedules, competitive pay, paid training and certifications and free work attire are just some of the perks. No experience is necessary. Positions available include gymnastics coaches, day camp coordinators and counselors, lifeguards, rec aides, swim teaching assistants and more. Once again, that hiring event is Saturday, March 9th from 9 a.m. to noon at Carpenter Park Rec Center located at 6701 Coit Road. The Emerson Drive project is wrapping up construction this month. The work on Emerson is between Preston Meadows Drive and Virginia Drive, adjacent to Preston Meadow Park. It includes the addition of about 1,500 linear feet of new concrete pavement on the north side of the existing roadway, updated pedestrian crossings for the Preston Ridge Trail entering the park, and replacement of the original and outdated cast iron water line with new PVC pipe. The project's main objective is the widening of the roadway on the north side to continue providing on-street parking for visitors to the park, while also allowing safe passage along the street for larger vehicles, including emergency services. The project's overall construction cost was $685,000. Looking for that great garage sale find? Join us for a big garage sale held each fall and spring at Oak Point Recreation Center located at 6000 Jupiter Road. This event is free and open to the public. The Spring Into Color Fest 5K and Community Garage Sale will be held from 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday, March 16th. The city is now accepting applications to serve on the Tax Increment Financing Reinvestment Zone Number 5 Board. From 5 to 15 members are appointed for two-year terms. More information on boards and commission service, along with application details, can be found at plano.gov slash boards and commissions. Our pet of the week is Roxy. The five-year-old spade pit bull has been at the Plano Animal Shelter since August. That's longer than any other resident. Roxy's a sweet, friendly dog who walks well on a leash. She's up to date on her shots and ready to find her forever home. To see all the pets up for adoption at the shelter, go to share.plano.gov slash pets for adoption. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there and you can always go to our website, plano.gov. See you next week.